On last night's program, we showed you a propaganda cartoon put out by the California Teachers Union, which was the Federation of Teachers, demonizing wealthy Americans for their success. Look at this. But over time, rich people decided they weren't rich enough, so they came up with ways to get richer. The first way was through tax cuts. They didn't mind if this meant fewer services for everyone. They said, why should I care about other non-rich people? When ordinary people wondered why rich people needed so much money, the 1% said, don't worry. This is good for you, too, because it will trickle down from us to you. Oh, urinating on people. So do you recognize the voice narrating that cartoon? Well, that is none other than radical left-wing Hollywood actor Ed Asner. Now, one of our producers confronted him outside the New York City theater where he is currently performing and asked him about his role in this disgusting hit piece. You remember the video? You know what I'm talking about? I don't remember a thing I said on it or a word I said on it. If I agreed to do it for California teachers, I approve this message. Okay. The, I think the most controversial part that people are talking about, there's a part of it where we're talking about things trickling down and they have, like, rich people peeing on poor people. I, How disgusting. It should be re re reverse. Mm -hmm. So you don't remember what... Do you have was, any money? Uh, yeah. Can I piss on you? Pretty classy, Mr. Asner. I guess it's true. There's really no business like show business. Joining me now with reaction to all of this, syndicated columnist, best-selling author Michelle Malkin. Um, what do you make of that? Well, our old friend, or rather foe, Ed Asner, I remember way back several years ago when he threatened you, Sean. Do you remember this? He's an anti-free speech thug, also a 9-11 truther, inside job uh, conspiracy theorist, a, a proud card-carrying member of the Democratic Socialists of America, and a militant wealth basher his entire life. Um, I, I think that the, he needs to be held responsible. I, I love how he doesn't remember remember a word of, of what he said in this script. Um, how could he not? It, it, it was very, very memorable, very damning, I think. But it's the teachers union. It's the California Federation of Teachers that really needs to be called to the carpet. And it's not just the taxpayers and parents who are sending their um, kids to school in California uh, that need to be up in arms at, uh, about this. I know that there are so many decent hard-working teachers out there who are right-thinking, who abhor the message that is being subsidized with their, with their, tax, uh, with their uh, taxes and, and also with their dues that are being confiscated by these well, big labor, big business got, organizations. I'll and tell I think you, the, I'll tell you the, the scary part, and yeah. I'm not making a comparison. If you look, it is dehumanizing people to such an extent that basically saying successful people, and it lies about almost everything, that they're evil, that they're bad, that they're... Yeah. It, to me, of course. This, this could have a really negative effect. And when did we become a country that, that does this? I never viewed that. It's been as going. The, go yeah, it's it, that the, the problem is is that this kind of radicalization has been mainstreamed and has been calcified in government schools for decades, and it's it's an area where the conservative movement really needs to fight and fight hard. All of this belly aching and navel gazing after the election about what we should do it goes way beyond improving the uh, the voter registration system and the and the ballot counting and and all of that of the Republican Party apparatus. This goes to the local and state level. We need Tea Party people, and I know they're out there that, we're, we're, that are working very hard uh, to uh, take over school boards and to get involved with curricular form. I met with uh, folks here in Colorado Springs who are working on this right now because the ABCs of education now are A for agitation, B for brainwashing, washing, and C for capitalism bashing. And we've seen it for decades. You've got Howard Zinn material that's championed by by Matt Damon, and it's this access that is so powerful that we on the right need to, to unite and join against. You've got this access of Hollywood, culture, social media, big labor, uh, and, 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 and the entire teacher organization infrastructure. That is what we have to fight against. And look, we need to um, expose these teachers' unions. This organization, CFT, rakes in $21 million a year. You want to talk about uh, paying taxes in your fair share? They are a tax-exempt 501c5 organization. Where is Ed Asner's rage about uh, their escaping and evading uh, their yeah. fair share of taxes? I don't hear it. 
And also, let's have a balance. If they're going to show this in the, the California classrooms, how about an eight-minute video narrated by Clint Eastwood or my favorite right-thinking actor, Adam Baldwin, that exposes the truth about Occupy and uh, the Teachers right. Alliance. Uh, they have to make up uh, this urinating um, image. Well, you've got occupiers who've been pooping on police cars. Show that to the school kids. Well said, Michelle Malkin. Great points. Thank you for being with us. You bet. Take care.